In this video, we want to talk about simple and compound angles. First of all, let's begin with simple angles. They are angles whose trigonometric values can be arrived at without the use of tables or combination of any angles. An example of simple angles, they are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Now let's look at the trigonometric values of simple angles. Let's say for example we have a triangle and this side is 60 degrees and here is 60 degrees and this angle as well is 60 degrees and let's say we have the height here here is 2, here is 2, here is 2 if we divide it into 2 it means here is 1, here is 1 so if we want to find the height that's this line we can use Pythagoras using Pythagoras we say since here is 2 let's pick one side of it this side is 1 we'll have something like this for this side so here is 60 degrees and here being divided into 2 is now 30 degrees here is 2 here is 1 and we don't know here we call it X if we call here x, so we can say that 2 squared using Pythagoras theorem is equal to x squared plus 1 squared. This squared is equal to this squared plus this squared. So 4 is equal to x squared plus 1. If we now make x subject of the formula, we will have that x is equal to 4 minus 1, which is 3 root 3 so it means here is root 3 so remember soccer tour if we say sine it means opposite over hypotenuse so if we look at sine 60 degrees for example sine 60 degrees which means opposite of sine 60 is root 3 over hypotenuse 2. If you confirm it with a calculator, sine 60 is equal to root 3 over 2. Root 3 over 2. So that's the proof there. If we say cos 60 degrees, cos means adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos 60 there. 60 adjacent is 1 hypotenuse is 2 so which is 1 over 2 1 over 2 so if we confirm it using the calculator cos 60 is equal to 1 over 2 so we can also confirm tan 60 degrees tan means opposite over adjacent so if we have opposite of this value tan 60 opposite is root 3 adjacent is 1 so root 3 over 1 root 3 over 1 which is the same thing as root 3 now let's go to 30 if we say sine 30 degrees sine 30 which means opposite over hypotenuse it will be 1 over 2 we can confirm that with the calculator if we say sine uh, let's say cos sorry cos 30 cos 30 will be adjacent over hypotenuse which is root 3 over 2 and so on so for 45 degrees is different if we have a right angled triangle here is 30 sorry here is 45 here is 45 degrees here is 1 and 1 but we don't know what here is because here is sum must be 90 so 90 90 180 sum must be 180 i beg your pardon the sum must be 180 so remember that so for us to find x using pythagoras x squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared 
so x squared is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 which means x alone is root 2 so here is root 2 so if we want to find what sine 45 degrees is sine is opposite over hypotenuse so it will be opposite any opposite you pick is 1 hypotenuse is root 2 so 1 over root 2 but remember a, a sword rule you have to rationalize so if you rationalize you're going to have 1 over root 2 times root 2 over root 2 so what that will give you this times this will give you root 2 over this times this will give you root 4 and if you stretch that forward this is root 2 root 4 is 2 so this is sine 45 you can confirm that with your calculator so if we go for cos 45 is still the same cos is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse so if we use this adjacent which is 1 over root 2 so you still do the same and then you will get root 2 over 2 so that's it now let's go to compound angles in our next video